vivid the noise possibly record-breaking like the size of the crowd they're measuring the number of decibels expectant that this will be the noisiest sporting event ever hosted by CenturyLink Field Josie Altidore on the bench in reserve and Seattle in the rave green looking to make home advantage count it is the second time that this stadium has staged MLS Cup Back in 2009, 46,000 people were here to see Rail Salt Lake beat the game. <laughs> Ladero. Now this is Jones. And it's Rui Diaz. It's dug out for Leerdam. Kelvin Leerdam, it's an own goal! Justin Morrow. Lid and let fly. Bought a ticket to the lottery and has just struck the jackpot. Toronto up in arms, surrounding Alan Chapman in protest. Great work from Brad Smith and Jovan Jones to get forward. The ball switches the point of attack to Kelvin Leardham, who had five goals in the regular season as a right back. Deflection off of Mavinga and Morrow doesn't matter completely against the run of play. But ask the 70,000 and Brian Schmetzer here if they care. No, sir. 1-0. Seattle at home. Leardam leading the celebrations, it was going wide. No question it's a Morrow own goal, just the fourth own goal in the history of MLS Cup. And two of the previous three have been decisive. Here's Benazer. Rodriguez. Jones. The referee put his whistle to his lips but didn't blow it. Svensson. Rodriguez. Oh, beautifully done. Smooth, sweet. Guided into the bottom corner. And maybe the clinching moment for Seattle Sounders on home turf. Such an X factor for the Seattle Saunders attack. He's Barcelona educated. He operates between the lines. He's very good in tight spaces. What a layoff from Nicholas Ladero. But look at the movement from Victor Rodriguez. Non existent from the Seattle Saunders when that was Jovan Jones. You bring in that player of that quality, pick the ball out of the back of the net, Westberg. It's 2 0. Schmetzer and the Seattle Sounders here at home. And on their biggest day, amongst many other significant days, Seattle, in rather strange style, are stepping up to the plate. They've been second best for long periods. They got the benefit of an own goal, but no quibble. Continuing the Schmetzer lineage, Father Walter from Germany in the 1960s and set up Schmetzer's Sport House, which was the place where you go to buy soccer gear. Here comes Rui Diaz through the middle to crown it for Seattle. And now they truly can start the celebrations. 
It's the Sounders MLS Cup. Toronto will finish well beaten. And the mood inside this stadium is one of pure ecstasy. For a split second, Mavinga felt like Westbrook was coming off his line. Westbrook felt that Mavinga had it covered. But it doesn't matter. Raul Rui Diaz, he may only be 5'7", 145 pounds, but his presence on the field, you feel like he's 6'5", 300. He punches you right in the face for 90 minutes. Deal with it. In six career playoff games he's got seven goals three assists how do you like that and having struggled for significant periods of this game Pozuelo Altidore it's one back it's surely too little too late but Jersey Altidore has scored again in MLS Cup against Seattle. And every single Toronto fan and every single Toronto player will ask themselves the question, what if? Because make no mistake about it, if he's healthy, he changes the team. He changes the complexion of the attack. Jersey Altidore with another goal in an MLS Cup final. And all previous noise readings are about to go out of the window when the final whistle is blown here by Alan Chapman in just a few seconds time. Seattle on the brink. And here's Ladero. And the referee decides that enough is enough. That is the sound of success. Of the Seattle Sounders success. They have climbed the mountain and now are masters of all that they survey. So now it's my honor to present the Philip Anschutz MLS Cup trophy to your captain, Nicholas Ladero. Classic day in Cascadia. A thunder Players and the fans deserve this. The players persevered because, again, it was the first half that, you know, we needed to make some adjustments. And they never quit. And the fans never stopped believing. So I'm very, very happy and proud of the city and the fans.